hello friends how are you doing i hope you are doing fantastic i hope you are doing great and welcome into today's video if you're new here karibu karibu sana my name is lucy milton and thank you thank you for choosing to watch this video please remember to subscribe leave a like and even you can even actually leave a comment and let me know that you're new here so that i can you know appreciate you personally <laughs> So, and for my gang gang, thank you, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for always choosing this video. Thank you for commenting, liking, sharing my video. I don't take you for granted. So, in today's video, uh, we're going to do basically a whole weekend of cleaning and organizing my home. And we're also going to cook at the end of the video. So, be on the lookout. I know you love when we make a delicious meal together. So, mm -hmm, on this video, we've started by preparing our vegetables so these are the vegetables that i bought uh yesterday so i did a grocery haul on it and if you like to see what i bought and the prices uh please go to the previous video and you're going to see what i got so yeah this is how i prepare my vegetables before storing them in the fridge and make sure that i clean them and also remove like you know those uh roots and uh, you know those unwanted uh, parts of the of the vegetables like those roots from the carrots and then we're going to store them uh, so that they can stay for longer turn them round for the river and hope it's something that i won't regret So for the beetroot, I'm still going to do the same as I did with the carrots by cutting off the top part and the uh, bottom part and uh, store them the same way I store my carrots because I believe the beetroots are more of the same. Yeah, I think the same as uh, carrots. So yeah. So for the ginger, I'm just going to wash off the dirt and the soil and cut them into sizable pieces and uh, store them in a dry place. I usually don't store them in the fridge, I store them where I put my onions and yeah, because I don't know, I don't have a specific reason, but I prefer putting them aside, so yeah. I need a scarecrow after what you did Cause all of the birds know So for the pineapples I just uh, wash them and cut up one that you're going to eat in the next two days I usually pick the most ripe, the ripest of all and so that the other one can actually wait and doesn't go bad uh, in those two days uh, because I usually buy like a ripe, ripe pineapples so yeah I make sure that you eat this one in the next two days then the other one the other two days because i don't think that pineapples have long shelf life and if you have a tip on how to store the pineapples for them not to go bad please let me know in the comment section but that's basically what i do i just buy two and i make sure that you eat those two in the next one week or one and a half to go like the most yeah so I slice up the pineapples and remove that core and I'm going to store them in a container so that they're just ready to eat. I'm also going to put them in the uh, fridge so that you can eat them while they are cool or if you want them to, if I want to eat them while they are warm, I'll make sure that I remove uh, them from the fridge maybe one hour before we eat. Yeah, that's basically how I do store my pineapples. Please let me know if there's any other way of storing the pineapples. I would really, really love to know. Not in this 
penitentiary Don't wake me up Cause you're just a ghost inside my head You're just a ghost my So this is the next day and it's on a Saturday and we can all agree that Saturdays are for general cleaning. Yes, yeah, Saturdays are for thorough cleaning and I'm going to start uh, in my master bedroom and these are the products that I use in my cleaning. I use fabric softener, some detergent and uh, sometimes I add bleach but bleach tends to uh, affect my hands. My hands tends to peel so I try as much as possible to avoid it but I love 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 washing with the bleach and so yeah So I'm always finding the most random things under this bed. I don't know, like those two pairs of shoes. Like now, for example, why are the boots under the bed? <laughs> so toys and, you know, some letters. The most random things under this bed. So lucky I have this mop. I'm able to reach all those corners and um, clean them. Yeah.
now that we are done with the master bedroom i'm going to go to my son's bedroom and remember guys we had washed this uh bedroom like this week like that i washed it so i'm just going to give it like a just a shallow clean is that what it's called yeah just uh, clean where i can see not under the bed like not thorough cleaning i hope you're getting what i'm trying to say you know Also, guys, you may think that since I wash this room as often as possible, uh, it's always clean. Guys, it's, sometimes it's just it's dusty. The weather is dusty right now, so I may clean it like today. But the next day, you find maybe uh, around the windows it's kind of dusty or uh, on the furniture. So I have like to wash it almost on a daily. I may wash it like today, then skip the next day, then wash the next day uh yeah since especially it's my boy's uh, bedroom i don't want him to have any chest problems or inhale any dust so i make sure that i clean it as often as possible
now that we're done with all the other rooms or the other parts of the house it's time to tackle the living room so i don't mop the living room before i have uh, you know like clean the coffee table the seats and the tv like everywhere then that's when i like mop all around so because you may mop then you can maybe get some um, good particles around the carpet and then you're working or you're stripping they get on the floor then you have to clean again so to avoid that i make sure that first i clean uh, around the, the feet the, the carpet you know collect all the toys and then i can mop so that's what we're doing and obviously we have all kind of toys on the floor yes so um, so the most work that i do in this living room is collecting the toys guys oh my god <laughs> And you may think that since I've collected the toys, I are going to get at least have an organized room for an hour. Ha! Shop on you. In the next maybe 10 minutes or so, we're going to have everything everywhere. So I tend to enjoy the 10 minutes of freedom of organ or organized <laughs> home. Uh, yeah. So as I was cleaning, the boy was uh, downstairs. He was playing with his mates. I uh, remember it's on a Saturday, so the kids are not at school. So um, I found, I got uh, ample time to like clean and organize uh, the room. That's why you're not seeing seeing him running around. So also, guys, you have that particular, you know, that particular tablecloth. Is this a tablecloth or is it a rag? What is this? Hmm? a cleaning cloth that you don't want to get rid of oh my god here is mine i love 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 this uh this cleaning cloth because it really cleans so well it does not leave like lines of you know when you use uh, uh, uh another do you have that uh uh, tablecloth that you use to clean like oh yes a kitchen cloth do you have that kitchen cloth that you use uh while cleaning then it leaves lines mm? yes i have those but this one this one does not disappoint does not dis so i have uh there's someone who told me at the comment section that i need to buy like a microfiber cloth it does not have those issues and i think that's what i'm going to do so that at least i can have a reason to like dispose this but in the meantime i'm still going to use it please let me know do you have that cloth well i do i do can you see how well that cloth is cleaning can you see the good the work that it's doing it's doing such a good job such a good job
so guys ha huh, vacuuming vacuum vacuuming it's like a whole workout of your arms and shoulders hey you can see how i'm trying to like push and vacuum that carpet it's quite i find it to be quite um tiring honestly but honestly guys i think on this day i got so tired because i was using the no the wrong nozzle like i was using a squeezer like that front part it was a squeezer instead of using a brush yeah i think that's why i was using a lot of energy but still it did a good job remember guys this is a wet and dry vacuum so meaning uh, having a squeezer you can like use use it to clean the floor like maybe uh, when you have a room that is flooded you can use it oh my god i don't know why i didn't use it that day that my room was flooded my baby's room was flooded so yeah if you're again gang you know what i'm talking about but yeah it still did a good job no matter how hard I try, they show I've tried a million different ways to leave Oh my, why can't I not find the key? It's too dark, no one shows me how to see I need a scarecrow after what you did Cause all of the birds know that I'm almost dead I'm barely breathing After tidying up the seats I realized there's some seats that still had some food particles And so I went there with the vacuum cleaner to vacuum off the seats and uh, yeah that's what i'm doing right now not in this century don't wake me up cause you're just a ghost inside my head you're just a ghost
Samae God, this makes me so so happy also makes me feel relaxed and I have my living room looking like this organized clean and fresh and wow I just love this but oh alas <laughs> we are not going to enjoy this living room for long but anyway I'm going to enjoy it uh, while it lasts yeah oh my god guys that was a general cleaning it was a thorough thorough cleaning for sure for sure hey and it's almost I, I think two yeah it's actually two sharp and i started cleaning around i don't know maybe nine or ten. Oh my god i'm so tired and my kitchen i've not yet washed the utensils but they're not that much because they're just for breakfast but first i need to relax hey that was a thorough cleaning you may just see maybe just a part of the video but guys the work that gets involved when i clean it's a lot hmm? you just see maybe 30 or 20 or even 15 minutes of the cleaning but you, okay obviously it can't take 15 or 20 minutes to clean so that has been about three or four hours of cleaning yeah it was a lot it was a lot it's a work oh, that's why i'm sipping on my water hmm? I'm so glad I got this uh, water bottle because at least it's uh, keeping me on toes and it's really encouraging me to drink water. I'm so glad that I'm drinking water right now, guys. Huh? <clears throat> I was so poor. Actually, you can see even my face is starting to clear up. I think it's the water issue. Hmm? I think it's true. Huh? But I have maybe a new one that is trying to come up here. But hey, it's much better. I think hydrate, guys. Hyd especially ladies. Hydrate and hydrate. So this is two liters. And it has been... It has like... What do we call this? Uh -huh. Anyway, it's been written. It's, uh, it's written. So, okay. It wasn't full. So here I'm at 7 am. Okay. It's going to be inverted. But it has... You know little uh writings to encourage you like rise and shine let's get started remember your goal keep it up halfway there you can do this don't quit now and all in a day's work you see it's the little things that matter right guys yeah it's the little things that matter it's really encouraging me now i need to like relax okay also in in between i've fed baby so he has already eaten his lunch you see guys it's a lot that goes in between in between the videos it's a lot so he has already eaten his lunch he's down stairs he's playing with his playmates uh it's on a saturday so the kids are not at school so he has a company he's playing around i need to rest then i start making dinner yes i don't know what i'm going to make dinner um i'm juggling between uh pilau because guys i find cooking pilau so easy pilau i i find it so easy so i'm um, juggling between pilau and uh, fries oh, it's been so long since we cooked fries and we always uh we used to cook fries um during the weekends but then again fries comes with a lot of stuff before because it involves peeling the potatoes also i want to make some sweet potato fries because i i have sweet potatoes that i bought at the market so i'm thinking of maybe um making sweet potatoes fries and some potato fries like the irish potato fries with some maybe uh what what do we call this pineapple and carrot salad and some guacamole yeah but there is no protein there so i also have some pork in the freezer i don't know maybe i can defrost that and maybe make pork at the side 
and the salads but that sounds a lot of sounds like a lot of work oh my god ah maybe i should just make pilau and guacamole and that's it yes i think that's what i'm going to make i the sweet potatoes and i'm going to make another day probably tomorrow but tomorrow is on a sunday and then we don't usually cook on a sunday that maybe it's monday but monday you can't start a monday with cooking fries right i know that's starting on a low note <laughs> mm. but then again my sweet potatoes are going to go bad hmm. that's a dilemma guys that's it. those are the dilemmas that uh moms go through yeah like wives ah, it's a lot but anyway guys i hope you're enjoying the video so so after relaxing it was time to make dinner so i just ended up making fries and pork yeah and some kachumbari or salsa so yeah we fried it with some onions and coriander and uh, salt and some royco that's it guys that's what we just made our pork with and it was so good you can actually just tell and hear the fries actually i love my fries this crunchy so this is the first batch and it's crunchy and the second batch is cooking those are, these are going to be soft so that the baby can enjoy them is here are the sweet potatoes that i'm thinking of deep frying so this is the third day since i cooked them and clearly they have not been eaten not even once so i'm thinking maybe if i deep fry them uh, they are going to be you know maybe palatable so this i'm keeping it aside i think i'm going to eat it with some milk or something but yeah let's see let's see i hope they're going to turn out well so here is the final product pork fries and kachumbari and it was so so good so thank you so much for watching till this point and see you on the next one bye bye